So someone asked here, is one gram of protein uh, per pound necessary? I don't know what for back in the 80s and 90s is that I would take tuna cans and baby food. So baby food was my carbohydrates and the tuna cans was my protein. The easiest thing you can mess up on as you're trying to uh, put muscle on and stuff, I think the rush to put the muscle on, I think the rush to get to that 5,000 calories, the rush to put on 20 pounds. Yeah, sodium is a good thing. Make sure to take it in. Man, when you're off season, I think the worst thing you can do is to keep rushing, raising the calories. So someone asked here, what's the, what's the one thing that you probably, the easiest thing you can mess up on as you're trying to uh, put muscle on and stuff? I think the rush to put the muscle on. I think the rush to get to that 5,000 calories, the rush to put on 20 pounds, uh, the rush to get stronger. I think those are all things that are possible uh shut you down in the long run. I think off season is a great time going, hey, I got nine months. You know, if I raise my calories 300 calories a month, that's a huge difference in nine months. Huge difference. And so I would think of it that way. I would, I would, I'd play the long game is how I would do it and just take my time. I'd slow down. Uh, yes, I did talk about cravings and how do I deal with cravings. I deal with it knowing that uh, knowing that cheating is going to set me up to cheat more. Knowing that I stay true to the plan is going to set me up to get me to the goal and the life I want. Again, cheating is going to make me cheat more because as soon as you cheat once on a diet, second time's easier and so down the road. But the more you stay on the diet and the more you, you keep pushing, it creates a different you and it creates a better, a better result at the end. So someone asked here, is one gram of protein uh, per pound necessary? I don't know what for. To put on muscle? No, you need two pounds. Uh, two grams. Um, so to diet different depends on you, the individual. But I did do this. I did test my 30-day blitz for a year on each age group and each demographic. So male and female and uh, uh, teenagers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60-year-olds, uh, male and female. And I checked, uh, tested my blitz. And man, to do something for a short period of time with the extreme that I did creates metahumans. It was awesome. It was awesome to see that. And it was awesome, too, to see that everybody by day 14 15 transformed so much i mean it was like it was like ah, 14 boom holy sheesh what just happened it was amazing amazing uh my face regimen uh i've been a lotion kind of guy my whole life sunblock during the day lotion at night oliver on stage next year He's going to do Clash of the Titans next year. That's what he, he should do it now. But Jeremy is one of these guys uh, that I challenge. He's going to compete here in a couple weeks too. <laughs> Frankie. Uh, he says the uh, truth, the Blitz is a self-mutilated. Yeah, it's it's tough. But, man, what a what an individual we come out as people at the end of the 30-day Blitz. So, Frankie, was, we were just talking about diet and what you can eat on the road and if you're traveling and all this stuff. And he says he does little tuna packages. So, uh, I've seen those. I've never done this. But I'll tell you this. You can, on the road now, stay on a diet. And the way I did it back in the 80s and 90s is that I would take tuna cans and baby food. So, baby food was my carbohydrates. And the tuna cans was my protein. And that's what I would take as I traveled uh, back in 87 to 88 uh, through the early 90s to the uh, nationals and powerlifting and stuff. So all those kind of things, that's what it was. And I'm carrying a 40-pound bag uh, of just tuna fish. I wish we could do what, you know what I'll do? Uh, I'll do it in the Titan crew. I'll do a room. So a lot of these, because there's a lot of Titan crew members on here. I'll do a room, and I think there can be up to 20 or 30 people 
but at least we can all be face to face as, as we talk and so I can actually hear you ask your questions. I would love that. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Steve, that it's, what somebody said earlier is like, uh, it was funny because they said, uh, uh, don't be so negative. And if it's not negative. When I'm hard on Bobo, that's not negative. That's just me trying to tell him that I demand the same same effort because I'm giving him his time, I'm giving him my time. I expect the same effort that he does in the gym and nutrition as I do. Steve Peck, I, I demand, I don't request, I demand it that you give me the same effort I give in the gym and diet as you give. Now that's not negative. That's just somebody going, listen, I respect my time and stuff, and I respect you enough that I know that you can do this. A coach isn't here, I'm not here to coddle you. I'm here to get you to get where I know you can, you don't know where you can get to, because you don't know how the body is changing yet. Or even if you know a little bit, I guarantee I can sit down with you and tell you, no, you can actually look like this, or you could be this. And that's my job. My job is to get you to where I think you can get to and know that you can get to, where you don't even know right now. And you're going to get there and you're going to go, holy sheesh, I didn't see this. And I go, I know. I did. I saw you. Like Frankie, I know what you can look like, Frankie. This guy's got muscle, round bellies and stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. I know what he could look like at the when he is in top shape. Whew, all of us are in trouble. But that's, the, that's what I'm here to do. So if it sounds harsh to some of you, please don't, don't, this is not your page. You're, 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 you're falling into this whole trap of, of the social media stuff about, no, no, just be kind and kind. That is kind. I would think that's the most kind. That's the person I want to be my friend. I do not want you to come over here and go, you know what, you train pretty hard, Mike. Tonight, pizza, kick back, take the week off from training. I don't want that friend. I don't want that friend around me. That friend will make me lazy. I want the friend that comes over and goes, you're kicking ass. You know what? I believe you can turn it up just, just a little more. I think you can go a little harder. I think you can do this, this, and this. That's the friend I want. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to go, really? Okay, I'm going to look deeper in my soul and make myself a little tougher on this and go for it. That's the kind of person I want around me. And that's, that's the coach you're stuck with. So you can't change me. You know, again, I do this because I love it. And I love the, the reaction of when you guys make those goals and you hit them. So that's going to be me from here forward. So love you guys. Titan Crew is the best. Get out over there. I'm going to go eat again and go take these pups to the beach. Much love. I'll post some stuff. You guys are awesome.